says that we are given this equation and we need to know our x. So we all know the properties of log, so we're going to write it this way. So that will be log of 8 exponent 4 thirds in base x plus log of 81 in base x minus log of 1 over 9 in base x and that one we know what that means that is also equal to log of x squared in base x x squared in base x and then here we know what this means so when we have log of a plus log of b that is equal to log of a multiplied by log b and which also means that when we're having log of a minus log of b log of a minus log of b that is also equal to log of a over log of b so here we have a plus and there we have a minus so this will be called to log i open my bracket of eight exponents four thirds multiply by 81 and thus I have minus d divided by 1 over 9 and all of this log in base x and this is equal to log of x squared in base x right so then we know that log log that side log both sides so i can remove log this side as well as log that side which will give me then I have eight exponent four thirds multiplied by uh 81 divided by nine exponent minus one this is equal to x squared right so then for my space here, what I'm going to do is uh, I can put it this way. So I have the uh, 8 is equal to 2 exponent 3, right? So which means I'm going to have 2 exponent 3 times 4 divided by 3. And that and that one goes away. And I have v 381, so 3 exponents 4, and 9 minus 1 over 9 exponents minus 1. That we go there, and then we have uh, 3 exponent 2, and thus is equal to x squared, right? So at the end, what I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this x squared is equal to 2 exponent 4 times 4 plus 2 times 3 exponent 4 plus 2 which means I have 2 exponent 4 times 3 exponent 6 okay so here we know that this one here is equal to 16 and 3 that way that side I'm gonna have um, 81 times 9 this is equal to x squared so now x squared is equal to, x is equal to 16 times 81 times 9 square root of everything here uh, we know what that means we all know how to use a calculator though. so that one will be equal to 108 so our x is equal to 108. Right. Simple, interesting, and sweet. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you're gonna enjoy it. So please, if you haven't subscribed, I'm gonna see it again. Do subscribe. For now, I'm gonna see it. Take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Bye.